You know, I gotta say, I think sometimes wrestling fans do get a really bad rap. I, I honestly legitimately do. Because when you look at the actions of fans of other sports, you sit there and say, are wrestling fans really that much different and that much worse? In a lot of cases, admittedly, honestly, no. They're not. They're, they're just not. Now, I understand it might be easier to make fun of wrestling fans, although a lot of those same people that watch those other sports either still watch wrestling, have watched wrestling, or did watch wrestling in the past, so they ought to know. But I do think, like, wrestling fans do get a bad rap at times. Oh, they're whining and bitching and moaning. You ever looked at politics Twitter? You ever look at sports Twitter? Like, let's not pretend that pissing and moaning is unique or totally living only in the wrestling Twitter bubble or the wrestling social media, the wrestling internet, wrestling world bubble, because it certainly is not. And saying, oh, you know, wrestling fans exhibit all this creepy behavior. You know, they, they are not the only ones that do that, and we know that to be true. But that said... You get some folks out there, certainly, and it's not a thing of it's a few bad apples or anything like that. It is a thing of you've got some really weird people out there in this world. It doesn't mean they're wrestling fans. It doesn't mean they're just sports fans. You just, in general, have some really weird-ass people in the world. And it's not because they have a different political opinion than you. It's not because they have a different set of beliefs or morals than you. It's not because they are into different things than you or aren't into certain things that you are. They're just legitimately some really weird, creepy, freaky, freaking people in this world. But I just got to ask, like, why do wrestling fans have to be that? Why do, why can't wrestling fans stop being creepers? Like, it's just weird and gross to me. Like the thought of these fans sitting there and it's one thing to wait for them outside of the arena. It's, it's one thing to do that. Or it's one thing you see him in public, like natural curiosity. You might want to go say hi to him, get an autograph, take a picture with him. You know, there are different thoughts in terms of that behavior. You know, there is an element of it like these folks deserve to enjoy their privacy. But then there's also a matter of, you know, that is something that kind of goes with the job. And you have to understand a little bit that is kind of what you signed up for. But, you know, th those types of things are okay. But... The waiting at the airport for him to land and approaching and swarming on these dudes at 4.30 or 5 a.m.? Like, that's just creepy. Showing up to people's houses? Like, if wrestling bothers you so much and gets you so emotionally moved, or the wrestlers themselves get you so emotionally moved, that you somehow register in your mind that it seems like normal, rational behavior to go to a wrestler's house, you know, there is something really fundamentally wrong with you. You are a danger to yourself, to them, and the society as a whole, and probably should be locked up and have the key thrown away. Realistically. Which brings us to this whole crap with this creeper that got arrested trying to break into Sonny DeVille's house. And not just trying to break in on some normal creeper level type of stuff. Like, this was whole other level, creepy, creepy, creeper, serial killer type stuff. Having zip ties and fucking, what do you have? Zip ties, handcuffs, I can't even remember at this point. But he was trying to break into her house for the thought of potentially tying her up and gagging her and kidnapping her. Hey, I can't be with you, nobody can. Like, what the hell is wrong with that dude? And what the hell is wrong with people in this world in general? Like, number one, I have full confidence that the testosterone would be flowing through Sonya Deville. She came into that house and saw you there, and she'd have whooped the other love and piss out of you. Number two, you would think for somebody that apparently had been showing on Twitter a long-standing obsession and love affair for her that was completely and totally not reciprocated and all one-sided, you would have thought eventually you might have gotten the hint that she might not be that interested in you. You would have thought if you were so obsessive about somebody, you might have actually done the research to say, hey, ding dong, dumb dick. She got her liquor license, dog. And you ain't going to be the one to turn her back. I promise you. I promise you. 
ain't happening. Nah. -uh. Like, what the hell is wrong with somebody like that? Why would you think that it is okay, normal, rational behavior to do that? And, and I don't want to hear the mental health excuse. Because there are millions of people in this country and many, 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 many millions of more people around the world that have some differing forms of mental health issues that don't think it's okay to stalk somebody on the internet and try to break into their house and freaking tie them up, guys, and kidnap them to do God knows what. What are we going to do? One inch punch, same size as your pack or newer? Like, seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? Somebody you never met, somebody who I guarantee was going to have no sexual interest in you, like that should be pretty well known at this point. And you're thinking about throwing away your life by doing something like this. Like, why do we have to have wrestling fans like this? There are already enough bad things that we've got to overcome. There are already enough bad, stupid things that we got to deal with as a wrestling community. It's bad enough when people don't, disagree, don't agree with something that you say. They put out information about where you live or where you work or where others live or work, and they always try to sit there like every time you know that you've said something that's going to rile some people, here come the notification. Somebody's trying to hack your social media or trying to hack this or trying to hack that. Like it's bad enough that we've got that type of re, -re type of behavior that we're going to deal with. Like there's seriously something fundamentally wrong with that. Like that could speak to some type of mental health issue. But what you've done here just takes it to a whole other level of delusion and flat out psychosis. And makes it harder for people that aren't like that. It makes it harder for people that don't want to act like a damn buffoon and moron. I hope they put you in jail and I hope they throw away the key. I hope they give him a life sentence. I really do. Because if he did what he's accused of doing, then he is such a clear and present, imminent and consistent, continual threat to society that he never needs to see the light of day again. Never. I mean, can you imagine... Like, you think about it, you have crushes on wrestling people, sure, or crushes on athletes or famous people. Like, I would love Serena Williams to break into my house and sit on my face. But I'm not going to sit there and try and chase her down or do any of that stuff. That's ridiculous. Grown-ass man with my own things to do in my life. It can also separate fantasy from reality. And apparently, it's a good reminder that some people can't. And honestly, I think for some of you, it's probably a little scary. Like some of the people that do YouTube vids or, you know, write articles for wrestling sites or etc. Like that probably makes people question some things and worry about things and be concerned about their safety and their health and their well-being. And I get it. I totally understand it. You know, I've been victim to some of that stuff myself. And that's tragic and it's sad. Like, that's the ultimate bitch move. It is the ultimate bitch move to sit there and try and attack somebody like that. Like, man. You know, as wrestling becomes less and less popular, I understand it is even more and more of a nerd type of niche that we're dealing with here. But can, 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 can we just get a little civility back, a little common sense back, a little humanity and decency back? Can we get less stupid, <laughs> less creepy, creepy? Like, could we not be such big creepers? And this even goes into your social media behavior. All these fans that name themselves like uh, Mandy Rose number one or this girl or that girl or this dude. Like, get a life. Seriously, get a life that is not healthy, normal behavior. And these are not parody accounts. These are not necessarily fan accounts. Like, 
You lack such an identity that you're naming yourself after somebody else because you are a fan of them and, and in a really creepy and weird way. And you're geeking out about, oh my God, this person follows me or this person retweeted me. Like, can you, can, can you get a grip on reality? Just for a little bit. And most of all wrestling fans, and some of you certainly need to hear this, can you such be, stop being such great damn creepers? Can you stop being such damn creepers? Be kind of nice, that's all I'm saying.